Hi, I'm Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. I've done a bunch of videos on solar thermal, but one thing people seem to miss still is that you can make hot water when it's really cold. Uh, so you can check out my other videos to get into greater detail, but I just wanted to show you one quick thing here. It's about 25 degrees out today, and we're producing some significant uh, hot water today, so take a quick look. All right, so here's the collector, and let's check out our data real quick. So here we go. This is the the outside temperature right now is you can see it there 25 degrees. And our collector uh, sensor one is the is the collector itself. So it's 30 25 degrees outside, and we've managed to turn that sunlight into 138 degree temperatures. So we can go back and basically look. Right inside here, inside this manifold, it's 138 degrees, even though it's 25 degrees outside. And it's just from that, right there. All right, so as I mentioned, sensor one is the collector, but sensor two, three, and four are inside the tank, four being the one at the top of the tank, three in the middle, and two at the bottom. So with this 138 degree fluid that we have in the collector, we can heat some significant water and the day's not over yet. So we're already at 80 degrees and it's, it's an 80 gallon tank. Here we are around 2 p.m. And at three o'clock, the sun's capabilities are starting to wind down. But for February, with some cloud cover, having 80 gallons of 80 degree plus hot water for free isn't bad. But the point of this video is that outside temperatures don't reduce the energy in light. If we were in the Arctic, we could do the same experiment here in New Jersey. Now, of course, angle of sun, length of day, and insulation on the piping will affect our temperatures. But the point is, if it's very cold, heat still exists in sunlight. Want to learn more about solar thermal, solar photovoltaics, renewable energy, passive house design, or sustainability? Contact me at njrenewableenergy.com. Thank you.